Okay, so when it comes to calibers for self-defense, there can be a lot of debate, especially when we're looking at the 22 long rifle and the 380. Now, the biggest concern with the 22 is lack of punch and also the lack of re reliability being a rim fire. Now, I have done some extensive studies and reviews on the 22 for concealed carry and self-defense, and the results shocked many folks and actually changed the mind on some as a possibility. Others still believe, you know, it just doesn't have what it make or what it takes to make the cut. Now, I put links below for those reviews on the 22. You may want to check those out. Now, the 380 is a center fire, so it eliminates that concern, but for many, it still leaves the punch or stopping power issue now for many the size weight and low recoil that makes a 380 really attractive now that only leaves the question of just how effective is it let's put some rounds into some ballistic gel um, use the chronograph see what we're getting for speed and energy and then i have an expired ham we're going to use some good self-defense rounds and see what that does and come to a conclusion for ourselves I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I just finished the review on Ruger's LCP Max 380. You know, it was pretty kiss uh, review. Keep it simple, stupid. Now, I wanted to test its accuracy, reliability, and performance, and I also testing the green laser from Viridian here. Literally, my first shot. What I want to do now is a quick comparison between the concealed carry 9mm and the LCP for size and weight because that does factor in to is it something that we want to consider. Okay, real quick, we're just going to compare pretty much about the smallest 9mm. Taurus's GX4 is pretty much the same size as my Springfield Hellion. It really doesn't get a whole lot smaller in a semi-auto with a 9mm. And then we're comparing that to Ruger's LCP Max, the 380. Now, size-wise, they're, they're pretty similar, okay? The LCP is smaller. It's quite a bit narrower, and it is a lot lighter. Now, this is an 11 round mag. I put 10 rounds in here. This has 10 rounds. Let's just throw these on the scale and see what the difference is there. Okay, so we'll start off just so you can, we got 10 rounds in there. We've got 14.8 ounces, that's pretty light. Okay, and then we have 10 rounds in here. And we have 1.57 pounds. Okay, now I did not factor in, you know, for the weight of the laser, which is going to be very, very light. And then the same with this really small red dot. So it's it's not an exact, but it's close enough. Now the other thing is is recoil. I've heard some people say that the recoil of 380 is about the same. Um, or I have actually heard people say that it's worse, and I disagree with that. I reviewed um, Walter's uh, 380 and actually found it to have a lot less recoil, and we'll test this out. Okay, so that's not a huge difference, but for some, it's enough to spark continued interest in the 380. Let's just look at the ballistics at the 380 with my chronograph using three different types of ammo, including a full metal jacket, you know, range ammo, and then two different kinds from Hornady for self-defense. Okay, so you can see for yourself, it doesn't have a lot of the speed and energy, um, you know, that a 9mm has. It's kind of somewhere between a 9mm 
and a 22. And yeah, I know there's other options. There's a 32 and a 25 auto and all that. But really, in today's market, you got 22, then you got the 380, and then you got 9 mil. Now, I have found, especially when I did all my reviews on the 22, that you can't necessarily just look at paper. So, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, or as I like to say, the proof is in the ham. Let's just see what we can do with three different rounds in some gel and on a ham. Real quick, folks, would you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices? I kid you not. You know, I find some of the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage. You sign up for the emails. Cost you nothing. And unsubscribe at any time. Links below in the description. Also right here. Um, I also do the same thing on Twitter slash X. Okay, that is kind of more real-time things that are time-sensitive and maybe that I don't accumulate enough to send out an email blast. You're going to want to check that one out as well. People always ask, where do you find these things for these prices? I share them with you. Okay, so we're going to do the gel test here. We're going to do three different kinds of ammo. I'm not going to shoot a whole lot here. There's there's plenty of studies out there. I want to start off with a full metal jacket. Um, when I was doing another review, it actually went through the entire block. And so, you know, if somebody's concerned about penetration versus, you know, mushrooming, so let's see how see if that repeats. And then we've got uh, the Critical Defense and the American Gunner. These are both 90 grain. This is the FTX, so it's got the little sort of red plug in there that's supposed to make sure that it expands and doesn't get bound up with denim or something. And then the American Gunner, that's just uh, the 90 grain XTP. Um, and we'll see if that mushrooms as well. Let's just get to it. And then whichever one of these does the best, that's what we're going to use on the ham. Okay, so I'm going to be honest, guys, that's actually way better than I expected just from some, some of the other stuff that I looked at. So, you know, we've got a 16-inch block here. You know, the actual, it came down to 15 inches on the American Gunner, and then the other one actually stopped um, the penetration at 14, then kind of rebounds, you know, sitting around 13 me personally, I'm I'm okay with 13 inches of penetration. Now, if you are worried about penetration, um, the full metal jacket went clean out the other side, 16. So we're looking at at least 16 plus penetration. Uh, let's dig these out quick and make sure that they both mushroom. It, it looked like it. Yeah. You know, again, from the top view, I'm I'm impressed with that. Uh, it it did better than I thought it would. I, I, Let's get those bullets out of there and take a look. So they both mushroomed, okay? This is the critical defense. You know, it it didn't um, basically change the diameter as much as I hoped. It did perfectly mushroom, okay? But it, it didn't really, per se, increase in size. You know, I'd, I'd be interested in maybe something that's bonded. Um, I think we if we got a bigger diameter now... The American Gunner actually surprised me. I wasn't sure. And actually, I really like how this one expanded. It did create a larger diameter with sort of these um, sharp flanges off the copper. I like that. I'm impressed. Now, I've got friends in law enforcement, and they really don't like the 380. Now, something to note is this isn't meant for going through car doors and windshields and barriers because this is carried for self-defense guys so if you're shooting through a door or a windshield or something like that it may be hard to define as self-defense you know this was shot 
from about five feet, which, you know, through some denim, that would be the situation that this would be used. I don't know. It is what it is. You decide what you think. Okay, so we've got an expired ham here. The local grocery store gives me ones that, you know, can't be sold. They can't be ate. They're expired. Anyway, let's fire off a round of both the Critical Defense and the American Gunner through this ham. We've got some bone in there, but, you know, it kind of gives a little bit better idea of something other than gel. Okay, I'm actually going to stop real quick here so that's the the entrance on the critical defense I mean that made made a pretty decent hole come around to the back side here and the exit oh and it did it did we hit bone and it busted right through the bone and still came out the back side you know and that's hard that's a hard piece of bone that's impressive Okay, so I angled it a little bit more that way. I'm really, I'm quite happy with that, guys. Um, you know, that exceeded my expectations. The first one there, you know, that's where we hit the bone. But that went, you know, for what it is, um, I liked it. I'm impressed. Um, you decide what you think. You know, is that a 10 millimeter? No. 10 millimeter would explode this whole ham, but it's not a 10 millimeter. Okay, let's just put a bunch of rounds through there, the critical defense, and see if we can get rid of this ham. There you go guys, proof is in the ham. Yeah, so it's, it's a pretty decent sized pumpkin and the entire thing was filled with water. I cut two little holes there and filled it with water and it did go, did go out the other side, come around here and made a decent, decent exit wound. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, proof is in the pumpkin. So there you have it, guys. You know, the 380 Auto, you decide for yourself what you think. Anyway, I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, be sure to subscribe. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So do us all a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.